Yes, Steve, it is a question that is very much being examined tonight. Nose or throat? What is the best way to do a COVID test? We spoke to a woman in New York tonight currently recovering from COVID who has some strong feelings about it. We also discussed the science with a doctor at Duke. How are you feeling? Pretty rough. I mean, On Zoom tonight with Jacqueline Lace in downstate New York, she's still recovering from COVID-19, but nearly three weeks since her initial exposure, most of the nasal swab at home rapid result COVID test she's taken came back negative, not positive. And so my partner and I both tested, we uh, antigen tested negative. And so that um, I tested again nasal swab uh, and it was negative. I can't really sleep that night because I'm thinking I'm like, I'm pretty sure that this is COVID um, and uh, it and it's just not showing up. Jacqueline had a sneaking suspicion the easy to use antigen test so many of us are using at home to test for COVID weren't picking up the viral load in her system. So she tried it again. This time, no nasal swabbing. She swabbed saliva from her throat. And I did the throat swab method, and that's when I got my first positive. So I didn't get confirmed until I was in an emergency room on Saturday. PCR confirmed. Her COVID case confirmed. Jacqueline, a health anthropologist who studies virology, kept trying. Even after going to the hospital <laughs> in the ER, they confirmed that you're positive at the hospital with a PCR test. You still came home, and 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 we're like, well, what's going on here? You still kept trying to test. I'm a, I'm a scientist and I was like, this is a very unfortunate situation I'm in, but at least I can maybe try to figure out some data to see if, if what is going on is what I think is going on. Is our current method of nasal swabbing effective for the Omicron variant cases? Uh, yeah, I, yes, I do. I do believe it is effective. We went to Dr. Thomas Denny at Duke Med School's Human Vaccine Institute with the new questions of if nasal swabbing is the best way to detect Omicron quickly and accurately. We have to keep in mind that uh, the nasal swabbing technique is the technique that all of the testing platforms have been validated for, and we should not change an approach unless we go back and do a revalidation. Still in the throes of her COVID episode, Jacqueline convinced that guidance on COVID testing is overdue for a change. If we can't trust the testing methods to get the, this illness at the point in time when they're most infectious, then even when we're trying to do the right thing, we can't protect each other. For me, that's really sad and that's really scary. Scary for her. Look, there is some very early research on all of this. Very small sample sizes and the studies haven't yet been peer reviewed. But the early evidence does suggest that saliva samples swabbed from the throat produce quicker and more accurate results than those antigen nasal swab COVID tests that many of us are taking at home right now, Lauren. Yeah.